A long time ago, in two galaxies about 900 million light years away, two black holes each gobbled up their neutron star companions, triggering gravitational waves that finally hit Earth in, discovered by an international team of astrophysicists including Northwestern University researchers. Two events, the findings will enable researchers to draw the first conclusions about the origins of these rare binary systems and how often they merge. Gravitational waves have allowed us to detect collisions of pairs of black holes and pairs of neutron stars. But the mixed collision of a black hole with a neutron star has been the elusive missing piece of the family picture of compact object mergers, said Chase Kimball, a Northwestern graduate. The team includes researchers from the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, LSC, the Virgo Collaboration and the Kamioka Gravitational Wave Detector, KAGRA, project. He also contributed to discussions about the astrophysical implications of the discovery. Other Northwestern co-authors include Maya Fischbach, a NASA Einstein postdoctoral fellow and LSC member. Two events in 10 days the team observed the two new gravitational wave events. Dubbed GW200105 and GW200115, on January 5, 2020, and January 15, 2020, during the second half of the LIGO and Virgo detector's third observing run, called O3B. With observations of the three widely separated detectors on Earth, the direction to the wave's origin can be determined to a part of the sky equivalent to the area covered by two, 900 full moons. Just 10 days earlier, LIGO detected a strong signal from GW200105, using just one detector while the other was temporarily offline. While Virgo also was observing, the signal was too quiet in its data for Virgo to help detect it. From the gravitational waves, the astronomers inferred that the signal was caused by a 9 solar mass black hole colliding with a 1. 9 solar mass compact object, which they ultimately concluded was a neutron star. This merger happened at a distance of about 900 million light years from Earth. Because the signal was strong in only one detector, the astronomers could not precisely determine the direction of the wave's origin. Although the signal was too quiet for Virgo to confirm its detection, its data did help narrow down the source's potential location to about 17%. Where do they come from? Because the two events are the first confident observations of gravitational waves from black holes merging with neutron stars, the researchers now can estimate how often such events happen in the universe. Although not all events are detectable, the researchers expect roughly one such merger per month happens within a distance of 1 billion light years. While it is unclear where these binary systems form, astronomers identified three likely cosmic origins. Stellar binary systems, dense stellar environments including young star clusters, and the centers of galaxies. The team is currently preparing the detectors for a fourth observation run, to begin in summer 2022. We've now seen the first examples of black holes merging with neutron stars, so we know that they're out there, Fishbach said. With future gravitational wave data, we will have the statistics to answer these questions, and ultimately learn how the most extreme objects in our universe are made. Quote, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more updates.